You guessed it, I'm getting sick. I don't know if I really believe in this stuff, but it doesn't taste that bad, so whatever. I was just sitting on the couch last night watching TV and just out of nowhere, I found myself getting congested and I'm like, this ain't good. And the like, the tired achiness, all that other crap hasn't gotten to me, but I've been congested all day and having to blow my nose and I feel, I feel it. The pressure is going, I feel it, I feel it coming. <sighs> Yesterday I was in the Veterans Resource Center doing homework as I do most days. And I was talking to a guy no named Rich, um, who is a senior in mechanical engineering and got a job working for Boeing. Boeing? Yeah, Boeing for 120k a year right out of college. So I think it's safe to say he knows a thing or two about getting jobs. But anyhow, I was talking to him about a career in math and I'm thinking about a graduate program somewhere. And he said, well, if you're considering grad school, then let me tell you about this one thing. And he told me about this program. I can't for the life of me remember what it's called right now. But it involves obviously signing a contract with the DOD. And they pay you not only to go to school, but they also pay for your tuition um, while you're in grad school. And I think it's like a two or three year program with them. And while you're in the program, you get um, non-competitive promotions up to a considerable amount and when you graduate you have to obviously work for them for X number of years I don't know how many that is yet and you make uh, GS 12 so GS pay scale is like the pay scale that's used for government contractors hello Bo is the pay scale that's used for government contractors and so I don't know the I don't know how high it goes but GS 12 is in excess of a hundred grand a year so the possibility of getting paid to go to school and getting tuition paid for is kind of cool. And I'm a little bit far out to be making that decision for sure, but the, the application process takes a year or more. So I really only have a year to figure out if that's what I want to do or not. Um, I don't see my mind changing in the, in the near future, but you never know. And you know, I can always, there's, there's no harm in applying just in case. And if I change my mind, then I change my mind. Um, if I haven't signed the contract, then I ain't obligated to anything. So that's something I'm considering. Uh, one of the caveats to that would be the fact that I have to work on particular military bases. So that, that might conflict with Anna's uh, employment or potential employment. So I would have to somehow finagle that, but that, those kind of questions are, are way down the road. So. It remains to be seen, but it's kind of a, an interesting and exciting prospect, if nothing else. But right now, it's time to clean the wreck of the house and then go and sweat my butt off while I run. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.